Hello, everyone. Welcome to the live stream. I went ahead and got a little bit of a head start going. Uh, I already had to change the lineup because I was doing the blue Corvettes and uh, the black window was uh, glued to the inside. So I'm substituting in the purple Porsche. And you see my finger here on top of the red uh, resin intake we have that we're going to be gluing onto that. Uh, so I switched up the larger intake because of that also that was on the blue Corvette that's going to be going on to the Pennzoil car. I just started hitting it with some rubbing alcohol and the 30 came right off the, the roof of it. So I'm going to come back to that one in a second. Uh, on the Indy car, we got to cut off where my finger is here, the, the small little bump intake that one has. And uh, we're going to have to uh, glue on a, another one there, but I'm going to hit this with some hit this truck here. This was given to us from uh, one of our fans, our subscribers, Jeff Byrne. Uh, I already broke off one of the side pipes. I got to glue that back on. I uh, took the windshield out. I managed to also split the dash when I took the dash off. So I'm going to have to do something about that as well. Re-glue that. I'm trying to get some of this blue off here. Uh, I was hitting with rubbing alcohol. But I'm going to try and hit it with some uh, thousand grit sandpaper here and see how that goes. Let me know what you got going on in the chat. Any projects you're working on? Anything exciting tonight other than watching me sit here sand little resin bodies? <laughs> well, so I'm just going to take some, uh, I think it's 1,000. Is it 2,000? I got some 2,000 grit sandpaper here. And I'm going to start going over the blue with it. See if we can get some of that off before we hit it with primer. Like I said in the description, this is the stuff I usually cut out of all the videos, but I figured, what the heck, you can make one showing it. Uh, the, the painstaking process sometimes go through to uh, try and get a nice outcome from these bodies that we do. That's working pretty good. It's definitely scuffing it up, which is going to help the, the, the fresh primer stick to it. Uh, I'm going to be using a white primer. And we're going to keep the paint scheme something similar with uh, silver on top, blue on the bottom, or uh, blue trim pieces at least. It should be pretty cool. Yeah, it's working really good, actually. I look like this might have been brushed on, so I was worried about the brush stroke sh showing through with uh, the fresh coat of primer I was going to put on this. Uh, too bad I got to repair that window and the grill that I managed to mess up when I tried to detach them. But, oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Oh, this paint. Ugh. Any projects you're working on out there in the chat? Anything cool you're painting, installing, refurbishing? So the theme here was having uh, external uh, engines or intakes the the blue thunder truck here had uh, an engine on it. i was able to cleanly get that off uh the paint looks good i don't think i'm going to reshoot it because then uh maybe i will i don't want to use the same silver though so i don't want it to be the same silver engine as uh, the silver paint we have on the vehicle but uh we also have these other ones here that we're going to use for the other cars get those glued on here i think next so i'm almost done sanding this i think for now uh i was going to bring out the dremel and cut that intake off the Indy car so that we have a place to glue on the larger one than it was already on there. Should look pretty cool. Yeah, it's glue. I'm going to hit it with some more uh, rubbing alcohol. See how much comes off now.
Yeah, it's getting some of it off. It's definitely coming off. It's just painstaking doing this. I guess you could sand it too, like with like a, you could sand it with the Dremel, but don't worry about the the plastic resin going everywhere with it, or actually gouging it. I think I don't want to do it too much, just enough to break it up to get the the heavy coats of, of it off. The other side came out pretty good. I got a lot of it striped off already. Good for the blue. Go back to the the Penn's oil car over here. The the tamples are coming right off that one. So the while I'm doing that, before the video, I went ahead and did uh, the little resin engines here, all with uh, some acetone that I have. I just put some on a Q-tip, held them with the tweezers, and went around. It's to get the mold release off the the resin there. Um, it could interfere with the painting as well. So let's, let's do the hood here. It's got all the, it's the big decal on it. This is just the rubbing alcohol going at it. And what would that take? Maybe 30 seconds? All gone. Beautiful. So there'll be no, uh, it won't be showing through at all when we uh when we go to mask and repaint that's the whole idea here is that if even if you can't get it all off is to break up the uh the hard lines or the hard edges of the paint the thick spots of the paint that would bleed through normally yeah that would have sucked if all that fell off huh <laughs> we made for good good uh web camera huh <laughs> great got the roof all clean now i'm gonna try and hit the doors here This uh, Pennzoid car is going to look really clean when we go to do the silver paint job on it. Uh, all the, the paint's coming right off with the alcohol. That's great. Sometimes it's a little bit of a battle. I'll have to actually use the acetone, which I don't like to do because it could actually uh, ruin the, the body. But the rubbing alcohol is going great. It's coming right off. How's everyone doing out there tonight? Thank you for joining. Just prepping some bias for paint here. Yeah, this is uh, still working really well here on this car. Wow. The three quarters of the car clean. I'm going to start focusing on the passenger side now. This is just 70% rubbing alcohol that I got. It's taking everything right off paint, oil, grease. It was a good surface for the primer to, uh, to stick. There we go. Not really worried at all about the red and black edging on the bottom. Uh, it's so down at the bottom of the car, but uh, I'm gonna get that number and the, the grill get that cleaned up now, and then we'll move on to the the indie car because the purple car has already been painted once. Uh, the purple came out more like a lavender. I was hoping to get something darker out of it, so we're gonna just go over it with the the white and reshoot silver. And we'll do uh, silver and blue on all these cars. We'll have to think of a name. We'll have to work with Enzo to get a, a good race team name for them. 
once again, uh, a lot of these bodies here were traded to me from Jeff Burton, uh, one of our subscribers. I uh, traded all of my lifelike chassis and bodies to him, and I got these Tyco bodies and chassis that I can uh, customize now and uh, make race teams out of. Uh, we might even do one as a giveaway, maybe. Maybe one of the race teams will get to a giveaway. I don't know. I'm thinking about that. We'll see. All right, this body's, I would say, is pretty good. I'm ready for paint. Just look a little markings in the front, but I think that'll get covered right up. So will the, the stripe at the bottom. But all the other Pennzoil red and black is off of it. It's clean. All right, let's get the, the saw out and watch me cut my fingers off live. <laughs> all right. So first off, we're going to need a winch here. That looks good. And a piece of, piece of toweling to hold the indie body. So what we're going to do is a little intake here on the back. I want to take that off flat. So I can glue on the, the larger red resin one that I have. So, with any luck here, get this in here. So we have that on camera. Yeah, I think that's gonna I think that's gonna work. Check out the chat here. From Lord McKay, McKay, hey buddy, love your channel. I'm trying to get a start up a Hot Wheels drag strip to start airing on here. Keep up the good work. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, good luck with the Hot Wheels channel. I know they make timing systems similar to the the Slot Dragon one I have here, which I think you can use that for Hot Wheels also. But if you get a good timing system in, you're able to drag runs and. Uh, do uh road courses that's really cool we bought a lot of those to do with enzo uh we did for a little while but they're very noisy doing the the spinners the, the shooters the accelerators for the, the hot wheels cars but it's uh it's a good time all right so i got my my saw wheel on my dremel the idea is here is i'm going to come in and wreck this body uh, i'm going to come in and just try and slice down the bump there on the intake uh yeah, here it goes. Pretty good. I'm gonna hit it just a little bit more. I think that did it. So right here now, there's actually even a little pinhole, which is kind of good, because when I lay the new intake on top, I'll be able to add a little dab of, of super glue through the back side and get that to stick right on there. Uh, you see I already removed the glass and the driver's head as well, and this form of the body already had the front wing snapped off on it. So it's a good candidate for uh, customizing. All right, let's check out chat here. Lead rest. Why not 3M pads for sanding? What about dentured alcohol? Yep, I did use the I didn't use the dentured alcohol, but I used regular 70% uh, isopropyl. That got all the decals off. Um, yeah, I do have 3M pads, but I actually have a 320 grit. 
So I didn't want to hit it with the, the 320. I'm going to try some more at 1,000, but I might do that here on the blue. Uh, I was going to take a break on this. I'll do some more sanding before I'm going to paint the other ones because I want to get some more of the blue off. But, yeah, you're right. Uh, but I only have 320. I think 320 might be a little too harsh, but uh, I could give it a shot. I'm, I think the, the, the primer I have will just cover it, though. Um, with that now in place, I think we're ready to start gluing on some intakes. I got to get the glass off the Lambo here. There it goes. All right. It's good. Good. Uh, glue. We're getting the glue over. Up the right here. There's the glue. Check out the chat again. That's awesome, man. Thank you for the info. Nick K is short and McKinley is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, I do have regular straight acetone too. I found though with the acetone, if you do a little too much though, it will start to melt the plastic a little bit. This is a, a lot thinner and it's than the Hot Wheels. And a lot of times the Hot Wheels are die cast. Um, I do it though when I make my big rig trucks, I would use the acetone sometimes to get some of the heavier stuff off. But I've had a good luck with just the rubbing alcohol where I'll get the tampo off or the paint off and it won't uh, hurt the plastic at all. All right. Uh, I guess we can go on this one first. I do have to make a small cut on it. We'll bring the vice back up here. That looks good. There's some flash around the edges of this intake. See if I can show it there. So I'm going to just go in with the exacto knife and cut off the extra the flash there that we don't need. And if any luck, it won't fall into the abyss either. All right. And I'll be able to keep my finger. There we go. Just removing that off. I don't think the camera can pick it up. Yeah, it's there. Okay, a little more on the other side as well. Back around. I think that looks pretty good. A little bit around the edge of the, the opening, the circle. Looks pretty good. I don't know if that's going to come out on camera. Hard for it to focus. But that should be good to put onto the Indy car now. If I don't drop it off the table. All right. So now with that, we're going to put a dab of glue on the back side and hope it goes through into the front. And then with some tweezers, I'll try and get that the place right. So this is a uh, Loctite Super Glue uh, Control Gel that I use. I'm going to squeeze a little through. Put just a little bit on top where we did the cutting. we go. It might be a little too much. I'm going to grab a toothpick and just take some off. Just like that. And now we grab the smallest intake in the world. and attempt to place it on there while on camera. The most awkward angle I could think of to do this. Wow, that's really good. I was afraid to bump it. 
I, don't know, I think that looks really cool. Got a nice supercharger upgrade to it. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to touch it. I think hopefully it's getting a little, a little get tacky. Then I'll see how well it's in place. I'm going to check out the chat window here. Wow, lots of people in chat. How y'all doing? Hey, dude, Fry sent me. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Humblebee. If you do a little rail can, aren't you going to have to wet sand and get the orange peel out? Yeah, um, I've had luck in the past with the rail can. This was rail can here, this Jeep. It's it's smooth. There's no orange peel. I think at this scale, it's not really a big deal. If I was doing a full-size car, yeah, definitely got a wet sand. The rail can will definitely orange peel everywhere. But when you're doing things down at this scale, I've not had a problem with uh, – orange peel at all even on uh you can do the wet sand to get the 2000 grit and some water if you're really worried about it uh you know best option obviously is if you got a, a airbrush as well uh slot very very recent hey steve did you order the intakes online yes i got them from uh uh jim's custom rod shop from the last video uh there's a link in that video i think i may even have it in this one and it came as an engine kit i got about four or five engines and then uh, there were some side pipes as well. And then uh, the truck had already had an engine that one of the subscribers uh, had sent to me for the truck. So that one looks good. Uh, I think we'll do the Lamborghini next. That might be the next easiest one. So we'll get actually, that was working as a bit stale. I'm going to bring the voice back up here. There's a good place for the, the camera to see that too, I think. What about the glosser? Um, I never used the deglosser before. I just uh, I hit the resin parts though with acetone to get the mold release off. Uh, the, uh, Jim from Jim's Custom Rod Shot told me to do that because he saw the previous video where I had uh, painted this uh, Scat Pack Challenger, and when I masked it, all the paint came off. So I didn't get all the mold release off, and I was also using the wrong type of tape. But I get I get away fine with just basically doing the 70 percent rubbing alcohol all over the body get all the details off like we did with the, the stock car here and then just hitting it with a two-in-one primer uh the paint i use is basically paint and primer and again i got rust-oleum two times extra coverage uh flat white primer so we're going to be hitting them all with all the white base because we're going to go with a silver color and then uh we'll add the blue accents but uh i think the lambo here now is up for its intake so this one's more of a snorkel design. And we're going to put it facing forward, even though usually the, it'd be backwards under the hood. But we want to catch all that awesome cold air rushing at it going top speed. So I think what I'm going to do for this one is it's the contour of the bump here almost matches the, the concave contour of the, the resin engine. So I think I'm going to have a good uh, area to uh, glue this to over here as well. All right, so I'm just going to pretty much add it to the center of the strip on the Lambo here. Now, I totally expect these to come off if the car crashes. We just glue them on again. But let's we'll see. That looks really straight to me. I'm afraid to push down on it and have it uh, tear tower one way or the other. So I'm going to just leave it like that, like I did with the Indy car, and let that set. Let's check out chat again. So, um, what were you asking there to do? Airbrush. No, I don't have an airbrush. I've done all my my uh, custom cars for all the race teams without an airbrush. They just I just all rattle can. Uh, I wish I had an airbrush set up in a, a paint booth and all that, but I don't. So I just kind of make make uh, good with what I got. But uh, this one here is going to be the hard one. As far as how many cars in my collection, I don't know. I know I haven't counted. Uh, maybe I don't know, 50, 60. A lot of them. Um, a lot of them I made. Some of them I bought, customized. Um, but it's it's more than enough. My preferred brand. 
Uh, would be uh, Tycho Four Forties is what I had as a kid. It's what I grew up with. It's what a lot of this is based off of. Um, I like AFX, Mega G, Mega G Plus cars, and I just bought some Viper V Specs, which I highly recommend. They are uh, phenomenal. Here's the the Bandit one. I painted the wheels for it. That's a, a Viper V Spec body with an Auto World uh, X Traction uh, working the Bandit Trans Am on it. Pretty cool. All right. So the tricky one. Because if I move it on the hood, it can leave a glue residue if it's too far out of place. I really got to nail it on the, the first shot. Uh, originally, I wanted this to just go back into the windshield, kind of like so. But then I figured the, the plastic would have a, a chance of knocking it off or something. So if there's a time I'm going to mess it up, it's going to be for this one right here. All right, so let's get this in the tweezers first. Load it up with glue underneath, and then cross our nuts. If we're on camera, kind of, a little bit. Yeah, let's make it extra hard, Steve. Let's do it on camera live. Don't fall and glue to the table. <laughs> All right. Everyone, hold your breath with me. Well, not, not too bad. It's not centered, that's for sure. Looks like already dried in one spot. I can't even move it. There it goes. Ugh. Nerve wracking. That's it. I ain't touching anymore. How's it look? Oh. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> You ever seen those engineering vices? They're really small and they, they flip vertical and horizontal. They're pretty cool. No, I have not. I might have to look into that. It might be a lot easier than using this bench one. It's pretty cumbersome. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's the Auto World Bandit. Auto World makes amazing uh, bodies. I, I haven't seen anything better than Auto World as far as uh, the attention to detail and the bodies that they produce and paint and do all that. It is just awesome. Um, you get the right chassis under and it's a, a perfect uh, perfect world. <clears throat> I got a ton of four gear though. I can't get my four gears to work. I was gonna buy bigger rear tires to help them uh, get some traction in the back. I feel like this um, low profile tire in the back is a little too small and it's the magnet on here is uh, overtaking it, allowing it not to get down the track though. Looks like well, uh, the, the snorkel group. Yeah, they're all going to get painted the same color, though. They're all, they're all going to blend in. Actually, I was thinking about doing the cars all silver and then doing the, the intakes all black on them. So they'd all have a black intake contrasting to the silver bodies and then hit them up with uh, some blue trim. And, yeah, I think they're pretty much good for paint now. Uh, I'm gonna keep, I am going to sand this. Like I'm going to take uh, probably some 320 now and try and scuff up some of the blue some more. And, uh, and get that off a little bit more. The 320 is out here, actually. <clears throat> There's the, the, the sanding pad. Let's see what type of uh, damage this does to it. Move these over here. Definitely getting more. Try the, the blue over here on this side. Oh, yeah, I can see it on the, the brush for sure. Or the sanding pad. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's working pretty good. Hit the back a little bit. So I'll hit it with some 1,000 after this to, to get some smaller scratches on there so it's not as obvious when uh, the primer goes on. I do got to glue on the other uh, side pipe over here. Broke that off trying to get the body off. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so let's get all the dust off from the sanding we just did. That looks pretty good. Let's uh let's fix our side pipe now. Get this bad boy back on. Yeah, this would be fun. I'll check out chat in a second here. I'm gonna get this glue on here. Dab this onto the side pipe. There we go. And now somehow get this onto the truck. And so you can see it too. It's kind of at an angle. It went under the floor. It's gone. <laughs> gone into the abyss. Well, so much for that. I might have to take the other one off. <laughs> it fell under the floor. Figures. <laughs> to find it quick enough, but I don't see it. Over here. No. Lost so much for the zoomy tubes. <laughs> it flew off. I'll take a look after, but <laughs> I'm not seeing them. Oh well. But these are these are ready for paint now. Uh, let's check out uh, the chat here. What I've been doing is snatching Hot Wheels engines and stuff, drilling out the bodies, disassembling them, throwing them in the trash, and getting the engine parts already chromed. That's a really good idea. Yeah, that's a good way to really scavenge uh, some good parts for things, too, doing that. You got an endless pool of Hot Wheel cars to choose from as well. Good, good idea. So I think I'm gonna do, that's going to do it for the live stream here. I'm going to look for those uh, zoomy tubes on the a floor. Hopefully, I'll find them, get them glued on, and then these are going to go off the paint. Or a primer and then i'll do a full video of uh painting and doing the trim we'll have an unveil in uh, a couple of videos i think so thank you all for coming and joining i enjoyed chatting with you all i really appreciate you spending your saturday night with me and uh hope you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up and uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't share it with others and uh keep having fun everyone all right took the windshield off
Thank you, everyone. Have a great night.